In my previous video, ADC0808 was interfaced with microcontroller AT89S52 to enable the input of analog voltage into the controller. In this video, multiple analog signals are digitized by the ADC0808 and displayed on LCD connected to the microcontroller. A block diagram of the implemented system is shown here. We now have two analog input voltages fed into the ADC0808 through the pins uh, input 0 and input 1. And we have a push button connected to address line A of the converter. When this button is not pressed, then input 0 will be active. When we press the button, input 1 will be active. The digitized value of the input analog voltage is displayed on this LCD screen where the data lines are connected to port 0 of the controller and the control lines are connected to pins of port 2. And this is a circuit diagram of the implemented system. The diagram can be obtained in the link given in the video description. In this first demonstration, we increase the voltage of the first analog input and observe the value on the LCD screen which is bound between 0 and 255. In this second demonstration, we press the push button to access the second voltage input and change the voltage and observe the value on the LCD screen. A quick description of the C code. Here we determine where the control lines of the ATD converter are connected to the pins of port 1 of the microcontroller. And here we uh, determine what the control lines of the LCD screen are connected to pins of port 2 of the microcontroller. This is a function which is used to send command bytes to the LCD screen. And this function is used to send data to the LCD screen. These two functions were explained in more detail in my previous videos. Inside the main function, we set port 3 as an input port, and we set pin end of conversion as an input pin, and we initialize the start pulse, the address line enable pulse, and the output enable pulse to zero. Next, we initialize the LCD by sending these four commands. Within an indefinite while loop, we display this text on the first line of the LCD screen. Then we display this text on the second line of the LCD screen. Next, we start the conversion and wait for the end of conversion. And when data is available at port 3, we save the data in this variable value. Next, we split the value into three digits. This would be the least significant digit and this would be the most significant digit and then we display the digits on the LCD screen. In a future video, multiple analog sensors will be digitized using the ADC0808 and processed by the microcontroller. Thank you for watching.